check this out. So, this one right here, this obelisk, we had it wrong earlier. This obelisk was actually made by Dimension, the person who erected uh, Ark Mark of Titus in the uh, first century. You know, Titus is the brother, uh, son of Vespasian. So, he erected this in what they used to have, like a, a circus event. And it was moved here. In, they used to have a circus event in ancient times. They moved this here right um bernini when you look into some type some type of artist so what he did was they brought this obelisk here this isn't the oldest obelisk in rome really they say rome has more obelisks than actual ancient egypt itself so there's more obelisks of egypt here in rome than there is um in egypt now get a look at it basically all these obelisks are erected to the sun god Ra, and who we know is the fallen one and who we know is lucifer so when you come back over here family let's walk back over here when you come back over here in the 1600s that same man bernini actually erected this and we're gonna put it in the notes so you can have it but they erected this fountain right here and with a statue of a moor remember we was going into the moors how they were black men now we're gonna show you his features, um, but this man was a Moor. And it looks like he's fighting while everyone else is just in the water. So we're gonna show you his features to show you, you know, way before you were just calling yourself black. People was calling, they knew that they were Moors, right? So check this out. good on his feet. Good nose, good lips. So remember, your history has been tainted, tarnished, and they think you have no place in history here. And then when we go back to the other side, we're going to show you the statue that actually has you know black features we can't we don't want to philosophize and just give you things that we can't prove but we're going to show you his features and we're going to uh, show you what brother lama wide you know pointed out but yeah so this obelisk right here is actually from ancient egypt first erected by dimension so he was erecting a lot of stuff i mean this history is so ancient and you know they've our people don't even think about rome they just think oh america's running a show but you have to understand that this is the mother of all harlotry, like the Bible says, Rome, have spread out throughout all the earth. You have the US, which is their military. You have uh, the UK, which is their finance. And then you have Rome, which is their spiritual side. And who are they erecting all their temples to? The fallen one. let them know what you pointed out. So if you notice, we were pointing out with the black people, right? He's the only one looking the opposite way. As if you know it's something coming from the sky. You got most of the other ones 
this this piece of architect look like it's coming down. You got the man right here protecting the crack. Being destroyed. Got like the animals in like there like they are in distress. Lion right there. He's trying to hold it down with the staff. Standing on business. Mind you, they like to call this spot something about illum illuminate, and all of them gonna receive light except for the one on the other side with the black thing. You got this man also holding up the crest. Look like it's gonna be falling down. They're all trying to hold it up because they know it's coming down. This one, he getting out the way, letting it happen. All the way out the way, mind you, a serpent coming down. None of the animals look happy. Look at who. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night and shalt have none assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were even, and at even thou shalt say, Would God it were morning, for the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess flicked thee. And I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time, while I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all.